Hey everyone, welcome to the newest pet showcase. We've got the jack-o'-lantern with us today. And first thing we wanted to do was rename it because Princess Dexter for our new jack-o'-lantern really doesn't fit it too well. So we're going to change the name to something else. I was thinking like King Jack because, you know, like Pumpkin King. It'll fit. So let's go and find that. And Jack. And then what do we got? King. King Jack. Alright. Totally a non-cliche name, but you know what? It looks really good. King Jack, or Pumpkin King. Well, part of the Pumpkin King. He'll become the full Pumpkin King Headless Horseman guy after uh, towards the end of this episode when we cast a spell. I'm also using the wolf hat because I actually think this one looks really cool. And then the wand. I want to use the wand a little bit because it's a really unique wand. So... We're going to run over to the pet pavilion now and start training this guy. Here is King Jack, the jack-o'-lantern. Let's go ahead and see uh, the stat page. So we've got Headless Horseman spell. We'll show that after. And he's death, obviously. And then uh, the talents, we have most of them. So Pippa Plenty, Death Eye, Mana Boost, Sprite Queen, Health Bounty, Death Boon, Death Away, Death Blade, Charm Chopper. That's the epic, is Charm Chopper. And that's uh, May Cast and Feeble. I I think I listed 9 there. There's 10 total. So I don't know if this rare right here is known. But we do know all the other ones. So I was looking at Sprite Queen, which is one of the ultra rares. And I was trying to think uh, what that was compared to Sprightly. Is it like a better Sprightly or, you know, what is it? Because it seems like it's just a May cast Sprite, but it's a Sprite Queen instead of just a Sprite. So maybe it's an upgraded Sprightly. I don't know. People use Fairy now anyways, so... That uh, doesn't really make too much of a difference. But yeah, we are going to be training up this guy to adult. Whoa. <laughs> We're going to be training up this guy to adult, see what talents we can get. Maybe we'll get the one that's unknown. Just look at this pumpkin for a second. I mean, it's like glowing green and it's like frowning. Oh yeah, and that's what he does when he uh, contemplates the universe by looking up. So we'll train him up and we'll be right back after we see what he gets. Alright, I want you guys to look at what the pumpkin looks like when he is sad after we lose, because if I'm doing really good, I'm going to purposely lose so you guys can see what it looks like when he's sad, because it's actually pretty sad. Well, maybe I'll lose this one. Okay, there we go. There he is! He's so sad! Okay, I didn't even see that one either, but <laughs> we're going to see it again. Okay, you ready? Sad pumpkin! Alright, one more time, because I didn't even look. I'm more interested in his sad just okay. Just okay. Just okay, Pumpkin. <laughs> he's so sad. No. All right. He's going to be happy, though, because we're going to give him a snack that will get him to adult. So there you go. See, now he's happy again. <laughs> and his happy dance is just him jumping a bunch. So yeah, May cast Sprite Queen. So we actually got the one that I was talking about. Yeah, there he is. There's just his smiling face. Smiling with, you know, a frown. All right. So, not too bad. Got him to adult, and he got Sprite Queen, and then he also got the Death Blade. So, two May Casts. He has quite a few May Casts, because he also has the May Cast and Feeble. So, May Cast Death Blade, May Cast Sprite Queen, and, and then uh, there's all the other ones. Mostly Death ones, because you know he is Death. So, the thing I wanted to note about this pet is that he gives the Headless Horseman spell, which we're going to show. But, the other thing about it is... In the Gloom Thorn pack, a lot of people thought you could get this spell as a drop, and I did uh, think that originally because, I mean, death getting the spell would be awesome, you know, 530 to 590 damage, and then you can learn it so that you can put a enchant on it, and it'd basically be a really good, you know, 4 pip spell besides Vampire, because Vampire, you know, does an okay amount of damage, but it's you get the heal back too, so that's why it's less damage. But this one would be, you know, really cool for death. So, I don't know. I kind of would like this to be, you know, eventually a lore master slash craftable spell, but we'll just have to wait and see if that's going to happen. So a lot of people were kind of wondering about that as to why you couldn't get it in the Gloom Zone pack, but that's just how they made it. So what we're going to do now is head over to the Golem Court and cast our Headless Horseman. All right, let's do this. 
Time for your shining moment. King Jack casting the Headless Horseman. Well, of course, we need, you know, four pips. But we'll get there. We'll be able to cast his, uh, his favorite spell. I mean, he's basically part of this spell. Because he is the Headless Horseman once he, you know, reaches his true form. Headless Horseman time. Four pips, 80%. 530 to 590. I'm ready for it. After the fire cat. Oh, wow. I was like, wait, why is he casting a, a life spell? Okay, well, thanks for the, you know, the sprite queen. I appreciate it. I was like, wait, is it is it messed up? Is it actually a, a life spell? <laughs> it's such an intense spell, like <laughs> it just happens all of a sudden everything is just transformed into the, the headless horseman, you know, coming across the bridge. And then uh, just destroying the haunted minion with his axe. Which makes me feel kind of sad that you can only get it from the pet, you know? Like, it's such an awesome spell and they put some time into that animation. And we only get it as one item card from the pet. From a specific pet. So, I don't know. I kind of hope they expand on it and, you know, let Death get this. Because what Death Wizard wouldn't want a Headless Horseman as their 4 pip spell? I mean... I don't know. I hope they uh, update that at some point because they have in the past. They have added uh, spells like that to be craftable, so they could add that later. But that is probably going to do it for the Jack O' Lantern Pet Showcase. Really awesome pet. My favorite part of the Gloomthorn pack. And uh, if you guys missed that Gloomthorn pack, open and go watch it after this because uh, we go through a decent amount of packs. I didn't actually spend a ton of crowns on that. I've spent. A ton of crowns on other packs before but i didn't really need to because the mount wasn't something that i was like really wanting to get and some people got the mounts you know within 10k crowns i spent like 13k so didn't really get a permanent but i got what i wanted so that's all that matters but yeah if you guys enjoyed this leave a like for the jack-o-lantern pet really awesome looking and just awesome in general because it gives a new spell so we'll see what they do with that new spell in the future but uh otherwise subscribe for more videos and i will see you all next time